Hello viewers, so today we are going to drive the web equation. We are going to know how we normally come up with the web equation. So that means uh, to show to show that velocity is equals frequency lambda. That is the web equation. We are driving the web equation today. So we know from definition, uh, from definition, velocity is given by displacement covered uh, per unit time or the distance covered per unit time. So we can just say velocity is equals distance covered per unit time or displacement covered per unit time. So in this case, we all know that if a wave moves through a distance of one wavelength, if a wave uh, moves through a distance of uh, one wavelength, so that is one wave, you can say maybe this one is distance in meters. This one can also be uh, distance in meters. So that means we have the amplitude and we have the wavelength, one wavelength. So if we have the wavelength here, the distance covered uh, can be distance covered in one wavelength is called the wavelength or lambda, which is a symbol for wavelength. And time, time taken is known as the periodic time. That is the time taken to cover one wavelength. The time taken to cover one wavelength. So in that case, it is right to say velocity is given by wavelength divided by period. Wavelength divided by period, in other words, distance covered by one wave divided by time taken to cover one wave so in that case we all know that reciprocal of period or one over period is equals frequency the reciprocal of a period one over period is frequency so that means velocity is given by frequency times wavelength or frequency lambda. It's also important to note if uh, you have this equation you can also have a, a triangle with a capital T inside whereby we are saying velocity is equals frequency times wavelength Velocity equals frequency times wavelength, and that simply translates to frequency is velocity all over wavelength, and wavelength is velocity divided by frequency. Frequency is velocity all over wavelength, wavelength is velocity all over frequency, then velocity is frequency times wavelength. So, viewers, we have been able to show that velocity of the wave is given by frequency of the wave multiplied by the wavelength of the wave. So, and this one is known as the wave, the wave equation. So that one is known as the wave equation. Thank you very much.